So the last five years, I was in the military, Army, active duty for the United States. I was stationed in Fort Carson, Colorado for about three years, and then I went to Afghanistan for 15 months. I was on the border of Iran. I went in at 18, two months after my 18th birthday. Our platoon name was Wolfpack. I was nicknamed Strong Wolf because it, I guess it shows I'm, I'm a strong guy. I can't ever get another brotherhood like I had in the Wolfpack, you know. It definitely changed my life and the experiences that I've had. It was rough at times because, you know, I was hard-headed growing up, so <laughs> being hard-headed in the military is not a good combination. If you were angry, like if you had anything that bad happened, you know, you just go to the gym and let it all out. And that's pretty much where my fitness life, you know, started happening. I remember in seventh grade, I couldn't even bench press a bar, like a 45 pound bar. It was so embarrassing to me. And I remember telling myself I was never gonna be the small kid again. And I wanted to be the guy that everyone looked up to. I wanted, I wanted to have that body that that all the guys were like, holy cow, I want that guy's body. And I've just done everything I possibly could do to get to where I'm at. I got out of the military July 13th, 2014, so that was about four months ago now. I just turned 23. When I go to the gym, I just ask myself, how bad do I want it? You know, how bad do I want to better myself? And I get in the zone. I zone out and I think of what I'm going to do and, and how I'm going to do it. It's my life. I love it. It just takes experience and time in the gym and consistency to learn you know, how you need to grow and how you need to eat and how you need to lift and how often to lift to actually change your body. And it just took me a couple years to get my knowledge to where it needed to be to start making really good changes in my life. I look up to Greg Plitt. He's been my fitness icon forever. Like, you know, we have really similar backgrounds, you know. He's crazy motivational. He inspires me, and I want to do what I can to inspire others the same way. You know, everyone wants to have that perfect chest, you know, those really nice arms, you know, legs. Not many people have a great set of, of legs, but everyone wants to have the full, rounded physique, you know. but. I don't want to get too big. I think aesthetics is way better than, you know, being 240, 250 pounds and just not, you know, and walk through doors. <laughs> uh, I think I have decent legs. They're definitely very strong. I work the heck out of them, you know, and I'm always sore up, up until my very next leg day. So my legs are always sore. <laughs> I need to train my body to where my body will get better. Better shape, not necessarily bigger, but more defined, you know, a harder look, fuller, tighter skin. I don't know, better just means you feel better about it, you know? The first professional photographer to ever shoot me was Louis Raphael, and he definitely did great, great work for me, and I really appreciate that. You know, I just got lucky the right person saw my picture, and from there it developed into what it is today. All right, now we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're at the 2014 50th anniversary Olympia. I want to meet that bench, and I was pressing something. I go, I need to like three reps here. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, the military, man. Yeah. Five years active duty army. Like ever since I've gotten a fitness model, you know, like I, like you've been my like number one idol, dude. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thanks. How old are you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You can go. You can go very far, man. But you got a big future, man. Twenty-three. I didn't get started, man. So I got out of the military when I was like twenty-eight. Yeah. So you got five years head start, and you're probably better shape than I was then no way. when I was 23, I man. So. I just talked to Greg Plitt, and it was pretty amazing. You know, he, he pretty much said everything that I've been feeling. You know, it's not lifting for you know the girls and everything else. It's lifting for a purpose. You know, to better yourself and to inspire others and change people's lives. So that's what I want to do.